Hey guys, I want to talk to you about this book called Geometry Revisited by Coxeter and Greitzer. And basically, it's um a very nice book from the point of view, maybe we can think of this book as the point of view of let, let's self-study geometry for high school students and how you might do that with this book. So first of all, just a little bit about what the book is about. So it's it's by a mathematician, Coxeter, who's relatively famous, and Greitzer, who um, maybe an interesting fact was that he led the U.S. team. So he was one of the team leaders for the U.S. team in the IMO and like the, one of the early IMOs, like in the 60s or something. And <clears throat> the book is in this series, the New Mathematical Library series, which is like a mathematician's um, account of topics that high school students might um, be interested in and so the way it was introduced to me it was kind of funny it was this um I looked at so it was uh, the, this student um, who got a perfect score in the IMO Alexander Gunning and he recommended the book on his um, so I think his twitch frequently asked questions it's like all you need to succeed in uh, Olympiad geometry is is this book, and and I guess I guess that might have been true maybe in 2015. There's been some updates, so maybe geometry revisited has been revisited again, and maybe like also gone into more detail in some of the areas that have been visited. Um, maybe go into more detail from a math problem solving perspective. So you might be able, you can check that out in uh, in my book. Maths Olympiad theory building and problem solving, but okay. So let's talk about this book. So it's very interesting. I think even though if, if some topics are not you know mainstream Olympiad topics, it's still very interesting to see a geometer's take on all these topics. And actually, the book that you know like this could serve as a good high school geometry textbook. Okay, um, like the old textbook for geometry which is actually quite famous you know like the euclid's elements um book you know this is like 2000 years ago now um was like the standard text in a lot of schools and you can hear a lot of famous even non-maths people like like abraham lincoln like gandhi all these people talk about their experiences learning basically from like euclid's elements and and I, I think in some places like Australia, we're kind of abandoning even Euclid's elements because it's too hard, not because it's too old, but it's because it's maybe too hard, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, okay, and then and we're replaced by this Geometry Revisited, which was written in like 1970, which is, you know, it sounds old, but it's quite an update on 2000 year old geometry, right? And <clears throat> um, it has a lot of nice topics. Um, you know, so for example, it talks about inversion, talks about a little bit of projective geometry at the end, um, all the sort of like circle geometry stuff you'd want to know. Um, and if you want to self-study this, so my thoughts on self-study, it's a little bit, it's a little bit dangerous for young people to self-study completely too early because the, the, the quality check is a little bit like it's a little bit faulty when you're very young, your brain's not fully developed. Um, and so the, the earlier you're, you're self-studying, the more like authoritative you want your, your text to be. And I think this is a pretty good one. So you're, you're, you're in pretty good hands here. Um, so, but yeah, but generally you kind of want to be a bit more like actually independent and quality checking for yourself. Um, when you do engage in self-study um, but so so you read the book there's problems and exercises I think at the end of each chapter and you do them okay and I've actually made like a playlist of YouTube videos of basically me reading this book for the first time and presenting it to my students and all of us taking an interest in it um, so that could help you help help motivate you sort of along your way. So when you've finished a section, you can look at the corresponding video and see like um, if if the same learning points were absorbed that I present to the class as you absorb from the book. 
and you can look at the, like the solutions to the exercises that the same approach that you had for the exercises so you, you might have to request some of those videos because some of the I have a few exercises and the others I just cut is uploaded but I've never actually publicated made it public um, and yeah so I think this is a good starting point um, if you want to learn geometry and if you don't necessarily even do like maths olympiad you just want to learn maths and geometry I think this is a great way to, to do it um, of course this is now I guess because time is going so fast maybe you, you, this book is like the new Euclid's elements but but there's there's sort of other things which are more like you know the the geometry revisited revisited that you might want to look into as well okay um, but but the funny thing with maths is it doesn't really matter sort of what you study as long as you study it sort of rigorously and have an idea have some feedback on when something's not rigorous and you get more mathematically mature you tend to progress in all areas of mathematics all right so good luck with that um i don't know how long did it take to read this whole book maybe for a high school student it could take you like two and a half years to read the whole book um, but if you're dedicated and you kind of spend your time like you focus on it maybe you could do it in a year and obviously you know it's very different like if you're in year 12 that's like it could be a year or six months but like if you're like in year seven it could take you three years right um, because you need to you need to develop that maturity that you need okay um, yeah, so it's it's especially impactful on me this book because I don't I never really learned geometry when I was in high school, and even in university everything was mo focused more on algebra, and so like the book makes a joke about how you know if you if you never really learned geometry your first introduction to a conic the definition is in terms of quadratic a quadratic expression in two variables, whereas um. The, the sort of the geometric idea is lost and I think so this 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 book is written by a geometer and um, so it could really be a fun way to, to learn geometry in high school whether or not it's in the curriculum okay oh yeah so another note for Australia there's this conception that geometry is no longer in the Australian curriculum okay in some sense it's true I mean practically people have kind of abandoned it but you know if you actually read the syllabus the geometry is like the circle geometry is no longer in the year 12 syllabus explicitly but there is this like all previous years can be tested in the year 12 clause which actually covers a lot of geometry okay because you're meant to learn like congruent triangles and stuff in year 8 um, you meant to learn some parallel lines in year 7 there's like there's actually still geometry that's meant to be in the course okay um, but I think people are even stopping to teach them in the previous years because of this and so we're going quite backwards um, but but you don't have to okay you can you can still learn geometry and it's one of the um yeah so I mean some of the things that aren't in this book that you might consider related to geometry are, are the like the more algebraic things like complex bashing complex numbers and stuff so that that's the kind of more thing that I focus on in my book so barycentric coordinates um, but I also take these topics a bit further as well um, a lot of the more basic theorems um, I prove myself without really reading this book um, but some of the, the the book has really drawn attention to a lot of the sort of the more famous theorems that and, and sort of the history of how they developed which is really interesting okay so I, I really recommend this book um, and yeah good luck